How you doing out there today? Today, in our neck of the woods, we're gonna make an attempt. Now that the body on the duster has dried off for almost a week, uh, the paint, or the clear coat, and I'm gonna attempt to put the decals on, the AAR duster slash CUDA decals. We're gonna try that out. I also, sh I might get time to paint the engine bay. But the one thing for sure I'm going to do is... But actually I think we're going to start our painting off. I want to paint the grill. That is too chromey. So we're going to give that a little paint today. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see how this goes or how much time it takes to do this. Uh, airbrushing for me takes a bit of time to do because of my setup. I won't show you my setup today. The other thing, uh, no bike working on the motorcycle today my ct90 um it's too cold outside i'm too much of a wuss we'll wait for a warm and sunny weather the other thing is uh this weekend i have to go to the industrial center i told them i was going to volunteer and i haven't done much of it so we're going to drop in and check things out there so other than that yeah let's uh get some work done so one of the things i see people ask is do we stir or shake paint when we mix it or prepare it for painting? And I say both because look at this. See, that's all the pigments on the bottom of this can. Uh, and the same can happen to testers paint or any paint in a container, right? All the pigments will go to the bottom. So it's best to stir it up and shake it up and mix it up. All of the above. And I decided to save you guys the pain of watching me paint the grill. And we ended up finishing it up and it looks much better than that toy over chrome look. Here, I'll put it down and we can chuck it out. How's this? The grill looks much better. At least I think it does. It. I did wipe the surface of the edges, which would uh, denote the chrome trim. And yeah, see? Less shiny less shiny i like it i like it i still have to do the blackout of the inserts on the tooths and i gotta do the white signal lighting that will be i'll let that dry because probably a day and a much better look i think looks very factorish so i think i'll go on to the decals now uh i'll cut them and see where we line them up cut them and line them up and we'll come back how's that sound so after cutting these out, here's what I got. I had to take four uh, sections out of the front half to clear the door. Now I don't know if this is gonna come in clear. So that will go there. Now the other thing is, oh I should turn the lights up so everybody can see a bit better. And I hope the camera is working re reasonable enough, whoops. There, how about this? Does that help any? Who knows? Uh, the back quarter was my biggest worry. Uh, number one, fitting to the body line. Uh, I don't know if it suits that body line style. It's also going to be short. See? It's going to finish way back in the middle of the quarter panel. Uh, I don't know if I like that or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the CUDA is obviously coming off and whether just to put the AAR down at the end is it coming in that AAR down at the end here or do I put it here and just eliminate that rear quarter AAR I'm thinking of doing that that might be better and that way also as soon as the person gets in the car they see AAR they know what it is <laughs> Yeah, I just don't know if it suits that body line. It's a little weird there. The front is okay. See where it comes up along the uh, window edge? That's not bad. Uh, I don't know, my friends. Maybe I should put the fronts on and see what it looks like and the back tail light one. And I'll, I'll hum and haw this over whether I want to do this thing or not. Okay, this will give you some gist of what we're doing here. And look at that. That was actually a good... I stopped the uh, NASCAR race that's going on just to uh, do this 
with you guys and it captured uh, almost a spit image there of the car's position so anyhow I do have warm water and it's soapy water because I do want some kind of lubrication on this we're gonna wet this down while we're at it just to get we can slide the decal on there because these things will stick like glue sometimes oh there it's already coming off so it's warm enough to I put lots of water on it'll dry off oh careful Chuck I'm trying to video at the same time here so that's why it's kinda not working er, I'm not able to do this 100% perfect Ooh, I almost could have took one more notch off because it's gonna work just about perfect but I do want to bring it up a little bit there wow that's very close how's that oh, yeah I gotta bring it up a bit and pull it down and work some of that air bubbles out yeah it does have a slight curve to it compared because the CUDA compared to the duster body so that's okay it's working bring it down a bit and we're okay wow it's hardening ah that's not what I wanted I had it just about perfect and then I fucked it up Chuck and I broke it shit it's a little too close in the front come on Whoops, there, you get the gist of things anyways. <laughs> the camera goes flying. Like I say, I don't have a proper tripod set up. Okay, my first attempt at this didn't go the way I wanted it. It was a little bit of a pain in the ass and I did rip it like three times so I had to put it all together. I do have a little nick there. Uh, yeah, son of a bastard. And there is a bit of a blooper there, but you know what it is what it is. I don't have time to piss around playing with this uh, so what I did was I put more soap in my water and that way we get some lube and I probably pushed it down too quick I should have tried to lightly move it around first so we're gonna give another shot these are gonna be the trickiest because these little side pieces are so tiny so I'm tempted to do that one first before this side so the second side went way better I was able to put it on in one strip I see one little wrinkle I gotta take out there and I forgot to cut the back but that's okay oh, I can cut it when it dries off that's not a worry so other than that this back tail light panel was pretty tricky I did had it in place and then I moved it which kind of cut that little top piece but that's okay it's not bad uh, I can live with that so this yeah let's uh, let it dry for a couple minutes and then I'll put the hood on because it looks actually pretty cool with everything all the black on it wow I like it so there how does that look fairly decent S silver grill I got the light shining in the wrong direction uh, black striping don't worry about that like I say that'll get cut so strobe striping black tail panel uh, grill will get blacked out a little bit I'm and what else do I gotta do um, I thought one more thing I wanted to highlight here uh, I forgot I forgot I forgot what was I thinking black I like that 340 wedge sticker, but that's not going to go on there. Uh, yeah, oh, I have to cut. If you see, once it dries off, I'm going to take a sharp X-Acto. This one's not very sharp, and I have to cut the clear window out there. Um, these actually, the inside of those tail panels are usually black on these car. Not orange like body color, but I'm not going to worry about it. You know what? Saving costs that on the production line... <laughs> cost of painting that black so with small tune-ups oh I have to do the chrome when everything dries after another couple days while I do the other detailing and uh, almost actually I'm gonna mount the bot chassis on the body before I do that chrome I think that is my safest bet so I'm not touching it and rubbing it that's what she said 
and uh, yeah, the lights, we gotta do that one. So, wow, it's coming. I like it. This is a nice theme, man. All right, hold it, hold it. Stop the presses, my friends. Let's fast forward a day and say I made an executive decision to change things up and chuck it out. Whoops. <laughs> Fill them the table, why don't you there, Chuck? Hey, substandardness at its best. Yes, I did decide to carry the stripes into the back of the car. Uh, I don't 100% like it. I don't 100% hate it. But you know what? It That's what I got. Um, technically, if I was a master at computering and graphicking, I could extend that out, you know, and then print up my own decals or some silly thing. But hey, that takes time and we're running out of time. And speaking of running out of time, man, we've been at this video too long. So we're running out of time on this video. What do we got, like 10 minutes already plus of me gibbering and ra jabbering? Um, I do like it though. Uh, that looks not bad. I like the little AAR. Is it come in? Probably not with my lighting. The AAR sticker emblem on the back. It does look pretty sweet. That does. Just too bad I couldn't finish it off there. Yeah, but that's okay. Uh, I didn't look, or blah. I didn't like the look of it half the fender. And then the decal there. I put the AAR decal there and I looked at it a few times and it just didn't look right. Didn't suit that longer tail panel or quarter panel. Uh, if this would travel right to there, it kind of follows the line, but kind of doesn't. Yeah, see, kind of follows that body line almost, but not quite. The other thing I did was I blacked out, black washed the grill and put white in the, the light section, even though the white didn't turn out that great. Did I even wipe it? I can't see. Uh, the white is hard to see. I might do another coat of white, maybe. But if you look on the real car, I'm trying to wipe the chrome top. Uh, the white light panels are very, very light. So, but I think, and now I'm mumbling, or getting too long here again, as I said. But I think on the body, maybe it's upside down, huh? I think it should look uh, decent enough. Anyways, yeah, anyways, yeah, we'll come back another time. Uh, last thing I gotta do, gonna mass that off, paint the engine bay, and then we can mount the body. So that means, my friends, we're running out of things to do on the duster. It should be completed this week. We'll have it done. That means we'll move on to other projects. Back to the shop truck group build. We'll go back to that truck and start finishing that one off. I can't remember where it left off. And the other thing is I have a buddy build coming up which should be an easy project. Probably April, a month from now. And the other thing is I'm gonna do a couple of kit unboxings and get your guys opinions on what kit I should build next. I'm thinking the Johan Superbird but maybe, I don't know, or the AAR Cuda might do that one. But hey, that I'm going to leave that decision up to you guys. We're going to uh, ask in the comments and we'll take a poll and whoever has the most votes on vehicles or who or whichever vehicle has the most votes, I think we'll start building. Even though I'm leaning towards the Johan. So anyways, yeah, blah, blah, blah. This video is probably way too long with me jabbering and jabbering. So my friends, we're going to go grab a cup of coffee wake up this morning and continue on building and we'll see you next time cheers my friends stay awesome